So I'm going to share something interesting with you this week. When I was in Italy a couple of years ago, we stayed in Florence and we had the most absolutely magnificent porterhouse steaks. Well, our friends at Mosner Family Brands sent us this absolutely gorgeous, almost three pound porterhouse. Just a beautiful, gorgeous steak. But what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different with it. We're going to marinate it in balsamic vinegar and in chopped fresh rosemary. We're going to let salt and pepper. We're going to let that marinate for a little while and we're going to reverse sear it. It's going to be a wonderful thing. Hey, so don't forget while this is marinating, hit subscribe to the channel, all right? We got some great stuff coming up and I don't want you to miss it. Now we're going to do something really simple to this. It's not involved. It's not a million different ingredients. It's super simple. What we're going to do is we're going to do one cup of olive oil, extra virgin. Got to have that EVOO. We're going to do a half a cup of balsamic vinegar, a quarter of a cup of uh, chopped rosemary, and we're going to marinate it all in this here plastic bag. So we're going to put the steak right in the bag and we're going to put all of our ingredients right on top of this and let it all really meld together beautifully. Start with a half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil to start the marinating. Our next ingredient is one cup of balsamic vinegar. The last part of our marinade is fresh rosemary. We're going to use a quarter of a cup of it. Close it up and mush all of this around. Get it all over. We want to covering the whole steak. Shake, 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 shake. Into the fridge. Now that the grill is lit, one thing I wanted to cover real quick, you saw me use something to light those uh, Fogo starters with. It's called the Blazer Ball. You can find it right here on our website. And it really helps. I like to put it underneath the charcoals. It just helps them get it going a little bit more evenly. So really cool. Now, let's get into this baby, all right? It's been marinating for close to four hours now. So let's see what it looks like. Unbelievable. So this has done a couple of things. It's given the meat really, really nice flavor, but also the vinegar with the acids in the vinegar, it actually breaks down the meat a little bit. So we got this thing, we're gonna get it to 275, 300 degrees. We're gonna reverse sear it, which means we're gonna cook it indirect, okay? We're using the expander system in the big green egg, which gives us two levels of cooking. The higher side is gonna have no flames directly underneath it. The flames are gonna be over here, so it's gonna be cooked indirect, meaning that the heat is not direct, it's indirect, almost like an oven. It's you! <laughs> Our grill is heated up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before we put it on, we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on here. Pimienta, I like to use a coarse grind on my steaks. New York strip, closer to the fire. We don't want the more direct side hitting the filet mignon. Let's put her to sleep for a little while and let her cook. Now let's check this out. Oh my God, look at that. Boy, does that smell good. All right, 121, 119. Let this rest for about 10, 15 minutes while we get this flames just crank it on that side. We're gonna sear it, get the flames up good, put a nice crust on the outside of it. Oh my God, it's gonna be so beautiful. And again, it tenderized it, it's so soft. Um, if I did the thumb test, you wouldn't know if this thing is done or not because it's so tender. Mwah, molto bene, it's gonna be so delicious. I don't know about you, but I am dying to dig into this. It smells so good. I'm gonna take a bite because I can't wait anymore. So let's try the filet side first. Okay, I'm gonna take a little piece here. I would eat the whole thing, but I'll be chewing for a half an hour, so. <laughs> it's melting. It's melting in my mouth. Oh, oh, Ooh, yeah, that's good. Mm. That steak is unbelievable. It's got such beautiful color. The outside has a, just a perfect char on it. You gotta get that flame going like we did and get a real good flame char on there because that balsamic just caramelizes and sticks to it. Oh my God, it's so good. I can't tell you how good this is. 
Oh, I go to a restaurant and I order that and I get it. I'm probably gonna really hate the bill, but I'm really gonna love my dinner and I'm gonna write a review like you can't believe. Listen, I don't wanna wait anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and get to, get to finish eating this because I am starving and it's just so good. So thank you so much for tuning in to another week of The Fogo Life. I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have because this, is, this might be my favorite one we've done in a while. So I'm gonna get to work eating. Ciao and have a great day. Boom, you're still here. Mm. You caught me snacking. Do me a favor, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, okay? If you like it, give us a thumbs up like Fonzie. If you don't like it, double tap on that. Let us know. Leave us a comment too. Until then, see you next time. Ciao.